Lionfish is an invasive species that is threatening our Gulf ecosystem, and divers play a key role in catching these problem fish. They've even created a fishing competition to get lionfish out of our waters. Now, Montreal Laboratory is hosting the third annual Sarasota Lionfish Derby this weekend. And joining us to tell us all about it is Moats Program Manager Jim Lacasio and Jeff, our chef Gerard Jesse from the Seafood Shack. Welcome, both of you. This is um, pretty big because a lot of people are really worried about how the lionfish is impacting our community. Like, what are some of the problems they're causing? Uh, the lionfish doesn't have any natural predators in the Western Atlantic. And so these fish have no pre pressure on them. There's nothing regulating their populations. Huh. At the same time, they are voracious. They are consuming uh, large amounts of native species mm. on reefs. And so... The sort of double whammy effect. Nothing is controlling their population, and they're having a great impact on our native species that are tied to our economy. I'm surprised. Yeah, I was going to say, why don't sharks eat them, and what do they eat? Um, sharks don't eat them. Uh, we haven't found that grouper will eat them. Large predators on the reef that would you would expect to look at and, and see them as, as filling in that role, uh, but they haven't yet. Now, oh, wow. what's really interesting is that in their native regions, we don't have this problem. That problem doesn't exist. Something in their native region is controlling yeah. the pro population hmm. and we either don't have the analog here or it hasn't stepped up to take that roll on yet. How big do these things get? I thought they were tiny little things. Um, well, they are when they're very young, but as, <laughs> as, as, <laughs> well they as, as they are in, in our area, um, you know, they'll, they'll get a good 12 inches or bigger. Oh, my wow. goodness. I've seen them the size of rugby balls. Wow. Do they stick you? And so pretty much they're eating all of our natural fish. So is that what the problem is with uh, the local ecosystem? Yes. E e uh, ecologically, that is the problem is mm. that they are going to be displacing other species, species that, you know, we, we have uh, managed for a long time to be careful <coughs> with our stocks. We continue to invest a lot of money and resources in understanding population dynamics and managing these fisheries so that they're healthy, and now we've got to contend with the impact mm. of lion fish. All right, so them's a little this tricky. is why we need to catch them. Yeah. Are they prickly when you uh, hold yes, those Yes, how do you bikes? catch them? Yeah, you do not want to snuggle these fish. <laughs> they're, they're, they're dangerous. They have venomous spines, uh -oh. and during the, during the preparation for um, the derby or anybody who's new to going out mm -hmm. and catching these fish, they should be educated about um, how to do it to avoid this because the injuries can be substantial. And you dive, correct? This you is dive. not casting. That's right. You okay. collect these essentially by hand while you're diving. Well, with a spear, um, but oh. individually you go and, and go around and poke, poke them. them and stuff them into a, 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 a keeper. A container. <laughs> yeah. wow. Well, speaking of catching them, I heard that these, when you catch them, they're delicious. Absolutely. So this is where, Gerald, you come in, or Gerard, you come in, because you can cook them and make them like a great dish. Absolutely. So naturally they have a, a flavor of butter to them. Uh, ooh, so, ooh. you know, uh, at the Seafood Shack, we, we're, we're kind of doing a play on it with um, a, a lionfish BLT. So we're wow. actually turning the lionfish into almost like a, a tuna salad-like, and then basically doing a, a fried green tomato on top and a brioche bun and then a bacon on top. Um, so Yum. you've got this buttery goodness, and of course bacon is good with everything, right? That, so. makes, that sounds good. <laughs> but if I'm cooking it at home, what can I do? Is there? Because I, I don't think I can Typically the go-to is fried. You know, that's kind of the southern thing to do. Uh, at, at the same time, it's great just about any way. I mean, black and grilled. Um, it's a firm, flaky fish. Oh. There's not, the bloodline is fairly non-existent, meaning it doesn't mm -hmm. throw off any foul mm -hmm. flavor or anything. Mm -hmm. Like that, mm -hmm. um, but it is just an awesome fish. To Can eat. you buy those at the local fish market? I know P uh, Publix does sell them. Okay. Oh. Um, that is uh, one of the only places that I have found it, other than a wholesale markets, mm -hmm. um, wow. or if you're actually going to get at them yourself. And ecologically, it seems like we should encourage this, people right? To, to have them. people mm -hmm. there to catch them. I'm sure yeah. you have to clean carefully. And then that way the public can buy them and we'll get them out of our yeah. waters. And there's no bag count, so there's, you know, it's a, you can get as much as you can hold pretty much. Well, speaking of eating them, so at the Derby, there's going to be a lot of people catching them. Can we eat what we catch at the Derby? Yes, yeah, so that's, that's the goal. So uh, what the fishermen bring in, um, four of us chefs, we're going to be basically breaking the fish down and then cooking them for the public to oh, try. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I like that. Yes, yeah, so you can actually <laughs> see how we process them and, you know, get educated about the right way. Watch out for those spikes. Yeah. yeah that's right. <laughs> so you can't catch these things on a hook. 
Look. No, you got to stab him. No. You cannot. <laughs> stab him back, Linda. Stab him back. <laughs> All right. Well, the Point public. <laughs> well, the public is invited to the Lionfish weigh-in Sunday, July the 10th at Moat Marine from 12 to 3. Now, the Sun Coast chefs will be there to help you, as he mentioned, to clean and get the fish ready. So you always want to go, and you can get samples of the fish also. Now, to get more information, you want to go to moat.org/lionfishderby.